Now Alex is absolutely amazing, but where is my boy Billy at? We need the beard update, Billy. We need the beard update. What is up, guys? It's Gumble, and welcome back to the Fortnite video. Again, sorry, guys, it has been a few days. Um, I did take a little bit of a break. Um, I was on vacation, so I hope you guys had a good few days. And now we are back on the YouTube grind. I'll be uploading probably at least four or five videos because... I'm actually going insane right now. The amount of like the update that we're getting tomorrow is way bigger than I thought it would be. Now we have a vlog and also a video. As always, guys, I'll make sure to leave a link down below in the description. If you guys go and check that out, I'd highly recommend at least watching the video. It's only like four minutes long, and it perfectly explains everything that is in the blog. Again, same type of information, just in a video format. And this update is going to be based upon the new hero loadout. You can change like the abilities, everything like that. I mean, it had so much cool stuff. Um, I'm going to show you guys a few screenshots of this and everything like that. And also, the new event has been leaked. The Love Storm event. Now, if you guys are when you're actually like, watching the video, a few seconds in, pause the video. As you guys can tell, um, when you guys are like just normally playing the game, it'll say Frost Knight, bottom left-hand corner, because that is the current event we are on. And the next one is going to be the Love Storm event, and they actually leaked that in the bottom left, so... I'm not sure if we're going to get that when this does update tomorrow. It's going to start at 4 a.m. Eastern time for Thursday. But probably within the next week or the next update, they will be releasing this. If not, I think it would just be cool if they just released it with the hero update. Just not even mention it to us. Just mention a whole, just put in a whole new event. I think it would be honestly amazing. Okay, so now I just want to quickly go over a few things on the blog post. Again, I'd highly recommend on watching the video. It's only like four minutes long. But um, the blog post is a very extensive very long i will not be covering everything in the post um but i will be covering a lot of the you know the hot topics and a lot of the screenshots because i want to show you guys how this like in the hero hero loadout everything like that is going to look so first off we have the commander the commander is a hero you'll play as during the mission this hero will determine your abilities class perks um we'll get to those later on and commander perk the commander perk unlocks when a hero is evolved to two stars in a serious upgrade to the standard perk your commander plays an important role in your loadout as commander perks pack a major punch uses to push your loadouts to its limits as you guys can see we have the links we have the hero loadout and at the right side we have like the one two punch that's gonna be the team perk and also with this whole new update um they have a section that's like dedicated as well but now like mythic heroes and stuff they have a full-on purpose that's going to, like, help you get, um, like, the team perks, stuff like that. Again, it is like, a lot of information taken, and it is kind of a little bit confusing um, if you guys, like, don't read it over or anything like that. But the video does, like, do a really good well job of explaining that. Okay, so now moving on to the support team. Support team is the backbone of your loadout. Any hero slotted in a support team slot will grant you their standard perk and 8% of their stats. This is where you'll be able to leverage your hero collection to build creative loadouts. That's what I'm like really hyped up for, like the different type of loadouts and how you can get creative with that. Next up, there are 5 support team slots, so you have plenty of options to customize your build to your preference. Play as a sniper focused, focused constructor or a soldier with the most souped up going commando you can assemble. The choice is yours. That's uh, honestly fantastic in my opinion. Class, now here's like really big thing that I am probably the most looking forward to besides the whole support team type of thing. The class perks. Each class has a set of perks which make up the shared traits of each class. If you're playing like a constructor, you should always feel like one. They always put that in caps too. So it's like the IGN review of you know this new spider-man game it makes you feel like spider-man well this is gonna make you feel like a constructor but it's important that you have the tools to express how you play a constructor class perks establish the core of each hero class without putting unnecessary restrictions on your gameplay choices for example base has been converted from an ability to a constructor class perk so that's just going to give you another ability slot as a result all constructors can access base through their trap wheel also recognize that most of the class perks as they previously existed in some form however they're all been tweaked to better fit their new role for some this means reworked or additionally functionality while others were simply turned and adjusted for example in this zone is an outlander class perk and includes the functionality of the old keen eyes perks by default next up we have the team perk team perks will test the strength of your collection but among them are some of the most powerful build defining effects in the game these perks aren't attached to a hero but are instead selected from a list of your unlocked team perks when the first team unlock the team perk slot you unlock four perks together that was like a tongue twist oh my gosh I said team perks so many times we can't wait to see the creative loadouts you guys put together 
And zooming in on this um, picture here with the team perks, you get like the Prince of Strikes, the Underdog, Soaring Mantis, Bio Energy Source. In the video, they also show like some sort of like gas trap type of thing, um, or you know, you again, deal damage over time as like ability. So I'm really curious to see how that all plays out. And we also have oh, the Soaring Mantis, the one two punch Mantis Leap allows two extra jumps, requires three ninjas. Okay, so that that makes sense though. So your Mantis Leap will then have the Soaring Mantis, which allows two more, but that's only if you have three ninjas for your team. Also, the one two punch for each hero with two or more stars. Your next heavy attack after using an ability costs twenty percent less. Now the last thing that I really just want to touch up on is going to be the Mythic Heroes. They have a special role in the hero loadout. The thing that sets the Mythic Heroes apart is they're always going to you access to a new unique team perk when you acquire them. Future Mythic Heroes may even require that you complete a quest for them before they reach, before they teach your team new combat tricks. Okay, so new quests. This won't be the only way to acquire new team perks, but it's definitely a significant one. And again guys, there are so much more information. I will make another video probably tonight. Um, I have like a mythic one of my llamas, so I'll put up that, tell you guys about that, always, guys, always check your upgrade llamas, and also go over some other information, some other like, you know, hot topics regarding a few things, and some changes that we will see, also be live streaming this event in the morning, I'm gonna wake up early before I go to school, so make sure you guys turn on those post notifications right now, so you guys never miss a video, and also the live stream, I'm gonna see all you guys in the live stream, we will live stream for probably... 30 or 45 minutes um against quick stream before i go to school and once i come back from school i'll do an overview and we're gonna go through all the different types of heroes and look at all those new perks the whole setup and everything like that so again thank you guys so much for the support it really does mean a lot to me we're on the road to 7,000 subscribers so you guys haven't make sure that subscribe button and smash the like button for me guys that'd be honestly amazing and yeah i'm just curious to see what's like next in the future after this again the event could be coming these love storm and i'm really really excited they're gonna have like a new quest line too again i'll make another video on like regarding so much information but yeah it is combo and i will catch you guys in the next one